All right, all right. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's about it's four thirty right now, and um, I am live. We are going to be doing an Instagram podcast. I'm in my uh, car right now here, but you guys, we're going to be doing Austin live with uh, the young and beautiful Jocelyn Pena. So we're going to wait for her to get on here in a bit here, and then we're going to get some people to come on. So right now it's four thirty. And uh, let me do this real quick here. Jocelyn, I will get you on here in a second here. Hold on one second. Okay. Uh, Okay, okay. Awesome. Okay. All right, guys. Come on on. Come on out here. We're going to get this going here. Um, We're going to be doing this. uh, We're going to be ending this podcast at the top of the hour. So let's get Jocelyn Pena. I'm gonna I'm gonna do do a little, but uh, um, who she is here? Um, she is 14 years old. She has two businesses, guys, uh, and uh, she has a, a, a nail tech business and a well. She's gonna talk more about it. What this is, Ramu Bokan and nail tech business. Hopefully, I said that correctly. Um, started. Uh, she started business to help pay for her dance and cheer. Um, let me see here. Uh, I'm just reading a little bit of her, what she, what she told me here. Uh, 10 years old, gymnastics. Uh, and, uh, see, she's now in a dance studio, a dance studio called Blue Rose Performing Arts. And, uh, you know what? Let's not even wait. Let's get her on right now. Let's get this going. Jocelyn, let's get you on right now. Okay. You can hear me. I'm doing this podcast in my car today, <laughs> not at home at the moment. So let's see, she's coming on. Hi, Jocelyn. Hi, how are you? Good. How about you? Good too. Awesome, awesome. Well, thank you for uh, reaching out to me and uh, doing this podcast today. Yes. Uh, this beautiful, beautiful, hot and warm Sunday <laughs> here in Ca- Southern California. We got some people joining in. That's awesome. And uh, we're going to take this podcast up to the top of the hour. So uh, anyways, so tell us a little bit about more about yourself. Um, You know, a little bit more about your background. You're 14 years old, correct? Correct. You have two businesses, is that correct? Yes. So I'm a young entrepreneur. Um, I started my Rambu Chong business in May and I'm a beginner in tech. I am barely taking now classes which I'm super excited to start my actual, like actually taking clientele. But for right now, I'm taking the classes. Awesome. Okay. And then you have, you have, tell, tell us a bit more about, uh, well, actually, let's start with this. Tell us a little more where you're from. Yes. And, uh, and uh, how did you get, and yeah, just tell us a little more about yourself. Okay. You're a little bit more about your background. Okay. So, yeah, I am a young entrepreneur. Uh, my businesses, I also do work at Infinite Glow Makeup Studio. 14 years old so i am having like i do have a paying job and i am okay. from california and um, i'm from west covina wow okay so uh, are you currently in school right in high school at the moment or yeah. are you in college <laughs> no i'm in high school um i'm okay. going to sac academy um it's like a college school so i'm taking college classes during like while i'm in high school oh Wow. Okay. So you're going to, uh, was it Mount Sac? Yeah. Did you say? Yeah. Okay, cool. Guys, I go ahead and um, I'm going to pin this comment here. That is her Instagram page right there, guys. Go ahead and click on it. Well, you can wait until after we're done here, but c- click on her uh, and, and check her out her Instagram page. Um, and I was reading a little bit more of what you were, uh, what you sent me. And um, <clears throat> you go here, or was it the, uh, you're saving up money for a car? Yes. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. So, for my <laughs> big, I'm financially stabilizing myself to be able to have the opportunities that I have. For example, I do dancing cheer. Um, dancing cheer does cost a lot. So, with the money that I do make, I put that in and I do save um, money for my car. Wow. Wow. That is awesome. And uh, you like to da- uh, cheer and dance, of course. Um, you, uh, uh, let's see, do you coach? You, you also coach, coach? as well? Coaches, um, 
Um, so right now we're gonna have I do take like a couple of dance classes and okay. I do coach my teammates because I am captain. Okay. Oh oh wow, that's awesome. And then um tell us a little bit more about your, your two business that you have. I think you already did I'm not sure if you did yet, but um yeah. one of them is the nail what is it the, again? It's the um yeah. The nail class, yeah. So the now, um, right now I'm just taking now classes. I've only been do, like I only did four classes. I have six left, but um, I'm really excited because I do have like more news coming out soon on my Instagram. Um, I'm gonna like, make a whole like a brand new um, branded name myself. So stay tuned for that. Wow, and. Then and what's you have two businesses what's this one i can't pronounce it ramo bukan Ra i can't pronounce it. what is that <laughs> ramu chan so basically ramu chan is um floor some of floors um i make arrangements they're like um i have a couple of pictures on my instagram they're just like um of roses or like any type of different flower i do do ribbon and real roses Right now, um, honestly, I'm doing really good for it just starting. I have four orders this week, which is pretty good. I'm super grateful for all my clients. Wow, that's amazing. I, I mean, at, I have, okay, so 14 years old. I, I, I'm thinking about like when I was 14, <laughs> like, trying to like, make it to high school right i'm a i'm a, a freshman and and this and that i wasn't even thinking about like starting a business or anything but you you've like you're ahead of every like everybody else yeah. like i can think of like my gosh you thought you, you started thinking of your your future as to where hey i want to be in business and you also want to teach others right yes in your age group to own their own business. So tell us a little bit more about that as well. So I do want to inspire others. Um, I actually did get Valley Victorian for my middle school, which is also really good because that shows that I'm a great influence. Um, I do have a TikTok. I'm a content creator right now. I am at almost 2000 followers, but I do have like a couple of videos, yeah going more into inspiring others that's what i'm trying to do that's why i'm asked to help others see that even a 14 year old it doesn't matter the age that a 14 year old can do it so yeah my path is like going there but sometimes like other people do have different paths so wow that is awesome now i have a question so your your high school what uh that you go to yeah the, is there a do they offer like um business like um because I, I know there's a a few high schools where locally where i go to well i, well, I don't go to the high school but, but i know of that um they have like uh like a business academy uh they, they teach uh, students about business how to start a business um the, the the tools that you need to keep a business running so um did your high schools uh have yeah. that um have that for the program okay. I have a program for that which i am going to be enrolling in um right now i am looking at doing, like speech and debate and stuff like that so i can like talk to more people and like get more experience wow that's that is awesome that is amazing guys if you're just tuning in we are talking today on this podcast Jocelyn Pena from West, Co West Covina, right? Make sure I yes. get the city correct. Yeah, West <laughs> Covina. She is uh, 14 years old. She has two businesses. She's going to high school. And um, she's uh, trying to save up two for a car at 14 years old. That is uh, un amazing. That is amazing. And, you know, uh, and uh, if, if any of you have teenagers or if you're watching, if you're in her same age group and if you want – to know if you want to know more about hey you know i was thinking about maybe doing the same thing you know maybe starting a little side gig on the side right mm -hmm. to to help maybe pay for something hey cars are expensive right and you know a lot of these kids these days are now not relying on their parents for money mm -hmm. they want to 
like say you know look for i went the other day and um locally and um there was these kids they were about like nine or ten years old i think when the oldest was like 11 or 12 and uh they were setting up like a lemonade stand like in front of their house yeah and all that money was being saved for they were telling me hey you know we're trying to say it wasn't for a car or anything but it was for something that they really wanted but their parents were like hey we're not just going to give you the money for it you're going to go we're going to we're going to sit there, we're going to help you out sit this lemonade stand up for you and guess what man their first i found out about this they did the whole weekend they uh-huh. raised enough not only for whatever they wanted but even more and i'm like oh my goodness so I tell you, it's yes, money. Just the money, you know. So you're in your age group now. Are like, hey, we want to get out there, and not necessarily. If I, I know, there's certain jobs you can't get because mm-hmm. of your age, right? I mean, yeah. for but you work, but you have a job though, right? Yeah. You have a pain. Yeah, I do have. So, pain. so what? What is it? Um, I they're do. hiring. Yeah. So, I went through a program. Um, I do work at the mall. It's at Infinite Glow Makeup Studio. It's a makeup store. So I oh. wanted to do that I do like, um, besides like what I actually want to be when I grow up. Makeup is a great, great opportunity for me to be able to like um, content create because in my my store we do do like content. Um, ideas and we post on tiktok um you guys can check us out at infinite glow makeup studio um i'm always there because i'm a self representative as well as a content creator so that's like my description at the job so they hired me to do social media oh wow that is so they so that's what you're hired them to, is their their uh social media you create videos uh you know whatever like products that they have yeah. Uh, you do like uh, uh, um, you create videos for those certain type of products, even the store too as well, right? Yeah. So you show the store. So um, that is really uh, what a lot of uh, I, especially on TikTok, especially mm-hmm. like uh, kids your age, even younger now. I mean, I've come across kids as young as like like nine, ten years old. They have. They have phones now where yes. they're going and doing reviews. They're going in some places, and they gain a lot of followers. Yeah, they like, do. Uh, yeah. And TikTok is one of the platforms where you know the, the younger, like your your age group, younger, you know, the, the younger age group, of course, that are using TikTok as a way to you know uh, promote uh, promote businesses. In fact, uh, they're their parents, I know one, I know a, a, a parent that has his, their own business where their kids are, are the ones that are running their social media <laughs> platform. It's like, yeah, might as well. I mean, heck, create a TikTok for the business, yeah. create an Instagram or Facebook pages, social media, all the social media pages, and have them run it for you. And, and you know, there you go. Absolutely. Go, go, going into more like about parents. So for my platform, I really am trying to focus on like inspiring other ambitious kids that do want to start their own business, that do want to like be their own boss babe or even like just be themselves, you know, because um, like a big thing that I am trying to like implicate is to not always like parents. I do. I'm super grateful for my parents. My dad and my mom are supporting me to be able to do my now classes, but I also do have money on my own so that I am able to do whatever. Wow. And that's important to have uh, parental support. Yes. Uh, You know, especially, you know, what you're trying to do, where you're trying to go, what you're trying to accomplish in life. Yeah. um, Where you want to, you know, uh, being that, you know, being at that young age, you're already thinking about your future. You're thinking about, hey, um, this is what I want to do, and this is what I want to accomplish. And I think that's um, that's amazing. To that's why I, I support, um, uh, you know. Uh, yeah. Yes. I, I can't even are, say it. 
<laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but I, I, I support the younger I support the younger generation because they you guys are of our future and you know, we wanna make sure that uh you stay in you know, for me I'm all about um staying the course. Yeah. Staying in in that lane of where, hey, this is where if this is what you want to do, make sure you stay in that court, stay in that path. Don't try to don't get out of it. Don't try to get you know, try to do this and that. Right, stay in the court. So um, I think that's very 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 important to have that parental guidance, uh, your your mom and your dad that to to, to have that uh, that that support. Do you have any siblings by any chance? Or are you the only child? I do. I have. Four siblings. Um, I have three sisters and one brother. Um, from okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Three. So, so the... yes. Are you are you the oldest or the youngest? The second. The second. Oh really? Okay. Okay. All right. What? What? How? How? Um. What, what's the? What's the age? What's the age group? Age, the age group. Um, 16, 13, 11, and three. Wow, so you guys are kind of yeah we're... as far as close age. Wow, that is awesome. Yes. And then you have a sixteen. So you're, uh, is it a is it a brother or sister that's sixteen? That's. Oh, sorry. Say that one more time. I'm sorry, you got cut off. Sister. Oh, your sister. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Wow. So do you get uh, support from your siblings too, yeah. as far as your 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 think... journey, your business journey? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I do want to talk about a little bit more about my valedictorian speech. Yeah. Um, okay. Yes. So as a middle schooler, um, I had like a lot of phases, which I do want to like influence others to make their own mistakes in, in middle school. But always make sure to have a backup plan because you're always gonna have, you're always gonna have like that back thought that oh i need to be someone in life so me um when i was sixth grader i wanted to fit in and i wanted to like be and stuff so i would do things that honestly right now that i see like of it was not good and that's what my valedictorian speech was about it was more about reflecting on how i was in middle school and how i can encourage others to not make those same mistakes. So my valedictorian speech, um, I got it because I had 4.0, but also because I was selected um, because of like the, of everyone. Um, it was like, and I got it. So I'm super great. Yeah. Wow, that's, um, that's amazing. Congr congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations on that. And uh, for inspiring, you, what I like about you is that you are inspiring others. Yes. To what you're doing, and yeah. I think that's is so so important. And it's about inspiring. It's about teaching others as well, right? Yes. Uh, learning and you know having that experience, and I think that's very important. So, um, did I get a value? What was it called again? Value. From middle school so like i got yeah okay and uh, this week wow so where do you see yourself in within okay so you're you're a freshman in high school right now right yeah. so where do you see yourself like in the next four or five years so you you go through your whole high school right yeah. do you see yourself um you got two businesses yeah. so of course you're gonna keep those businesses going right you're gonna you're gonna yeah. um keep this going Keep it, you know, if need make improvements if needed, and and this and that. Just keep the business going. Uh, but where do you see yourself as far as maybe even? I know it's you got four years, but yeah. after high school, where do you see yourself being going? Um. So after the two years that I like of community college that I do do because it's gonna be like high school college. Um. I'm gonna go into community college to finish my four years, and then I'm gonna take the the bar like the bar test so then i am able to do law school because i do want to be a lawyer when i grow up yeah. you want to be a lawyer wow yeah. okay um with like um a law like a law biz like a 
a law firm. Okay. It's gonna be soon. I'm just waiting for my for me to turn 15 and then I'm gonna enter. So yeah, that's gonna be a post on social media, definitely. I'm gonna definitely get some and I'm gonna get experience. Wow, that's awesome. What is that program in high school? I is that um you go to court and what is it called? Trial? It's a it's a program in high school. They have it. Some of the high schools have it. I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> I don't know. Um I, or trial? No. I don't know. And I if I remember it, it, um in my years of high school they had it. I and I know that a couple of uh, my friends uh, kids went through it too. I can't remember what it's called, but it has to do with uh if you're if you want to learn, you know, become a lawyer, attorney, or even a judge, this is mm -hmm. kind of like the like the program or course that you take. I can't remember. Oh my gosh, I'm like my mind. I can't remember what it's called. Now I'm gonna have to go online and figure out. Oh, wait, what was it called? And then I'll I'll tell you what it is. <laughs> oh. Yeah. But yeah. So, um, that's awesome. That is fantastic. That you want to be a you want to be a lawyer, man. I yeah, mean. And uh, and um, and uh, do you want to do like criminal or do you want to do yeah, uh, criminal. yeah, I do want to like um, I still want to keep dancing because I did dance, I've been dancing for basically my whole life ever okay. since like four years old. Um, I did for Golico okay. and gymnastics, I let those go due to COVID. So then I had to look for a new studio and I found Blue for Performing Arts, which um, I've been dancing with them for four years. It's going to be five. I'm super excited um, because we are having like a Dallas Cowboy cheerleader um, take a class and teach me how to like, yeah, it's a really good opportunity. So maybe before I do like take, um, before I do go to law school, I do want to become a Dallas Cowboy cheerleader because um, yeah, yeah. So, wow. yeah, but I my coaches because they've also helped me a lot with like my dance career. Um, like as a fourteen-year-old, yeah, I do work, but they've supported me. They've just always been there for me. Wow, that's a uh, Dallas Cowboy cheerleader, huh? Yeah. Wow, that's uh, is that like your favorite? Is that your? Well, I gotta ask, of course. Is yeah. that your favorite team or if that family's favorite team or the, is the Cowboys? Yeah, and then I. I also do like um power pump. That's what it's my favorite um styles are um, and jazz. Wow. Okay. Right, and you're 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 in a cheer team, right? Already at your yeah. your high school. I am right? a yeah. 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 Okay. Cool. 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 Awesome. Um, you know what? Cheer cheerleading is a um. I have a friend. I have many friends that that you know their kids you did cheer. Uh, from freshman to the, the whole four years in high school, and um, you know, I have I know one that actually went to college, went to uh, CBU, at, at Cal Baptist in Riverside, yeah. and continued cheer cheer there. Yeah. So, is uh, you know, it's 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 one of those where you can you, you get in, you know, yeah. start it, you keep you keep going, and then also the potential of other things opening up alongside which cheerleading you know either you, you modeling yeah. or anything that has to do with um business oriented yeah. those it's kind cool. of open up too so that's great that's awesome so i do want to get into more modeling i am looking into doing pageants as well so that's going to be really exciting um probably the coming up i'm gonna have i'm going to see because because my platform on TikTok is expanding, which means I am gonna get like more brand. I do have a PR package coming soon with the unboxing on my Instagram reels and on my TikToks. Oh, that's awesome! Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, everybody. So if you got TikTok, follow her TikTok page, Instagram page. I already pinned it. Yes. Do you have uh, Do you have uh, Facebook too, or or do do you? Um, I do have. Facebook. Facebook by Ramuchon Business. It's gonna be um, Ramos by Jocelyn. Yeah. Ramos by Jocelyn. Okay, so um, everybody, <laughs> follow her page so that you get all that information. If you have anything that you want to ask her, send her a message on her Instagram page, or if you want to uh, converse with TikTok as well. Uh, and 
Uh, I, I see some, I've watched some of your videos, and I gotta say, it is really, I can see why you've gotten a lot of hits on them, because they look very professionally made. <laughs> I mean, seriously. And, and you know, videos to me are, you know, I, I, I'm a little more, I wouldn't say old school, but I like to uh, just keep it real, right? Yeah. And, or my videos and say, hey, you can't, um, I, I didn't you know, do anything with this video because it's a live video, <laughs> you know, I did, yeah. I did or so like, like, but, but anyway, so we got a few more minutes left. I, I know that you're on a little time uh, for today. So is there anything else you want to tell anybody you want to mention? Um, you got the floor till the end. So go ahead. So I do want to talk about, um, more, about my businesses and how the world is um, doing all of this. So my Rambuchon business, it is started May, um, like May 29th, around there. Um, I'm honestly like, but I'm super grateful for everything that I like accomplished so far. Um, school was ending my middle school career. I did maintain a 4.0 throughout middle school career um so that's how i got the by victoria speak but honestly like balancing work school dance cheer um even though it's hard i'm super grateful for everything that will support um so yeah honestly yeah <laughs> awesome and then um again follow her instagram page she's got two businesses that you want to support She's a florist, florist, right? One of them is a flor yeah. florist. The other one is a uh, nail. No. What is it? What is it? Nothing. Like oh, nothing. Like yeah. Nothing. Okay. And then um, those businesses, if if we need, if if any if anybody say wants any of your services, they can yes. just reach out to you. Right they on Instagram. My Instagram bio. Um, I do have. A with everything on my emails, um, my phone number, everything. Awesome, cool guys. We are now at the top of the hour. Yes. Uh, I want to thank. Uh, I want to thank you, Justin, so much for joining me okay. on this podcast. Sharing of what you guys, fourteen years old, man. She is going places, and I am so inspired to have her on today. To really get to know more about Jocelyn, just like everybody else, you guys all tuned in, and uh, you can watch the recording. If you miss some of this, you can watch the recording. It's also going to be on my YouTube channel as well. So if you want to uh, watch the replay of it, and uh, you can go on my YouTube channel. Love to promote. Thank you so much, Jocelyn. Thank you. Thank you. For tuning in. You take care, and everybody else. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> all right there you go justin pena uh 14 years old from west covina she got to talk a little bit more about what she does high school she's freshman in high school but she's got two businesses guys it's un it's amazing and uh you know she's she's on her way to a bright future she wants to be a lawyer uh she's gonna start taking courses for that of course and um, be on our way to uh, becoming a lawyer. So there you go. But there you go, guys. I'm off. We are done with this uh, podcast. Thank you for everybody that's joining. Uh, like I said, if you missed some of it, if you need to go back, this is uh, going to be, of course, these these uh, podcasts are recorded. You can go ahead and uh, they're, they're going to be on my YouTube channel as well. Love to promote and uh if any if any of you want to be uh, uh schedule a podcast with me go ahead and send me a message we could do a half an hour podcast together uh just let me know the day and time and uh we will get you on the podcast love to promote podcast instagram podcast all right guys take care bye-bye <laughs>